What's up YouTube? Capital G here. What you are looking at is the most recent V-Jump and a scan that basically showcases the Japanese competitive game state as a whole. Like it, it showcases their meta. It showcases what decks are on what current tier, the popularity, uh, how the current matchup goes as far as what decks have good matchups against other decks. And then it also shows what decks are currently on what tiers. The most interesting thing about this, I think, is the timing. Because it's generally known that Konami makes the upcoming ban list for future formats about halfway through the previous formats. Which would be about now. We're about halfway through the format. So one might speculate that this breakdown of the Japanese meta could give us some clues as to what's going to be on the meta. Or what's going to be on the, uh, the future ban list. I actually think that that's not that far-fetched. Now, I'll give you some of the key points that you'll want to take from uh, this meta-analysis article. If you can't read Japanese like I can, then just listen. And Sector are basically tier zero. They're the top dog in um, Japan. Dino Rabbit, Heroes, and Heretic, which you see right here, are right below in Sectors. They're right there, but they're, they're not as good. Laval's beat in Sectors. They have a very good matchup against in Sectors, but unfortunately, they lose to the other big three decks. Uh, Dark World beats the big three, but Dark World gets beaten by Insectors. So it's kind of a rock, paper, scissor thing that they have going on. And then Insectors beat Black Wings, they beat Gadgets, and they beat Six Samurai. Now, any other decks that you don't see here, such as Grave Keepers or Wind Ups, are for the most part considered irrelevant to the format in Japan. We might play them, but Japan's metagame, they don't see much play. So. Uh, generally speaking, the top deck is going to get hit. The deck that Konami considers to be dominating to where the point is, you know, they're just on another level. Insectors may not be the top dog in our format, but it's been proven time and time again. The OCG meta affects the, the, um, the global ban list a lot more than the TCG meta and the uh, North American and European and South American metas. Um, I mean, I think that's been proven by every single ban list uh, in previous history except for the most recent one which I think we would all agree was a band list constructed mainly off Konami's agenda to push XCs and to make sure that they saw play. <clears throat> now um, some educated guesses that I could conclude from this. Uh, I think that Insector Dragonfly is gonna go to one. Something in Insectors is going to get hit because we saw in previous formats when Blackwing just dominated and dominated and dominated. They kept jabbing the deck and jabbing it and jabbing it until basically players stopped playing it. I wouldn't say Hornet is going to get banned, but I think that Insector Dragonfly is probably going to go to one. Um, Hornet might go to one considering they now have Ladybug, they have Hopper, they have other cards to equip to Insectors to get other effects. Um, as far as Heretics go, I know there has to be players in Japan who are as frustrated as I am when I get OTK by the deck I think a tomb and considering it's the card represented here I think a tomb is probably going to go to one um, I don't think that they'll outright ban Gustav Max because if I'm not mistaken his effect is only once per turn I mean um, I also don't think Red Eyes Metal Darkness is high enough on their radar considering Chaos Dragons doesn't appear to see any play in Japan for Red Eyes to get hit I think a tomb is going to uh, fall on the sword uh, oddly enough, I don't think Heroes or Dino Rabbit are going to get hit hard. I'll just say this. I don't think Heroes are going to get hit at all. Even when Heroes were winning YCSs in the North American meta, there was never any there was never any feeling that they were ever on the hot seat as far as the ban list goes. They've essentially had the same exact card pool for, I think someone said on Pojo, they've had the same card pool basically for like 18 months, 2 years. Nothing has really changed with the deck. They seem to just, they seem to be able to integrate into any meta just because of the same consistent cards that they have. And Konami showed that they haven't limited any E Hero support ever. The only reason Stratos was hit was because of Destiny Heroes. I mean, they, they took a bat to Destiny Heroes with Malicious and D Draw and all those. They've never touched E Heroes. We could potentially see a Lagia limiting, but I'm not so sure that they're going to restrict Rescue Rabbit himself because Japan doesn't have Doka if I'm not mistaken I think that's a huge factor so the deck isn't nearly as good in Japan as it is here just just because of that one card I mean Doka is just a fucking behemoth and I don't think that the deck is at full force there so I mean my educated guess would say 
a Lagia limit at best, maybe like uh, what they did with Sheen. And then with Dark World, I think that Dark World is probably going to get a hit. I'm, I'm kind of uncertain as what I want to predict. I don't think they're going to hit Grapha. I mean, I don't think that they would have spent all that time trying to make a boss monster and make the deck competitive again if they were just going to restrict it later unless the deck just came out and absolutely dominated. But there would have been too many mirror match problems for Dark World to ever be like a tier 0 deck. I think that either Gates or Snow will probably go to 1. I think Gates is going to probably go to 2, which won't affect the deck that much. I actually would hope that Dragdown will go to 1. I think that's a really stupid and unfair card out. I mean, it lets you see your opponent's hand and then pick apart whatever you don't want to play against. And then basically they have to discard Dark World cards, which doesn't put you at any type of bad position. And you get the draw. So I would hope that Dragdown will go to 1. But I think that if Snow went the one, I would be completely content. Snow gives the deck way, way, way too much speed. At least Grapha, even though he's an infinite use card, at least Grapha, it's like, all right, you get your little one pop and then you're done. But, I mean, Snow just lets you dig whatever you want out of your deck. A lot of times when you discard it, you're drawing at the same time with gates and dealings and stuff like that. So I hope that Snow gets hit the one. But um, let me know what you guys think. I think Rekindling definitely needs to go to one. My only problem is... Since Laval's lose to the big three decks, they might not be high enough on Konami's radar to get hit because, I mean, Laval's with three rekindling is just fucking stupid. Like, that deck can make Quasar like it's nothing. So, um, let me know what you guys think. I think it can even drop double Quasar if they pot of Avarice formula back into the deck. So, uh, that would be just stupid, stupid. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this. What cards you think are going to get hit based on this picture that you see. And, uh, cooking it. Have a nice day.